Tonight on CTV News, highway road safety and the steps the Colorado State Patrol is taking to keep people safe. Plus a new app that can help ordinary citizens get to people in need of medical help. Plus a look at the fitness program on campus aimed at helping adults reach their goals. All this plus weather, sports and entertainment coming up now. Hello Fort Collins, thanks for tuning in to CTV News, I'm Carson bush -Jose. And I'm Grace Reeder. Fort Collins police are searching for a missing 70-year-old Fort Collins man. Thomas Seth Morenis was last seen at 9 a.m. on Tuesday, October 20th, wearing a blue Patagonia fleece jacket. He's 6 feet tall, weighs 168 pounds, has brown hair and blue eyes, and wears wire-rimmed glasses. Thomas told his family that he was going out for a hike, but did not tell them where exactly he was going. His family says that he likes to hike in Larimer and Boulder County. Deteriorating weather conditions have police and his family concerned. If you have any information about the man's location, contact Detective T Tessa Jacobson at 970-221-6575 or Crime Stoppers of Larimer County at 970-221-6868. You can remain anonymous and be eligible for a cash reward. The Colorado State Patrol is asking the public for help in finding an SUV that may be responsible for a multi-car accident. The accident occurred on I-25 on Tuesday. The CSP said the car is a late 1990s black Toyota 4Runner and may have a license plate beginning with either 813 or 831. The 4Runner made a U-turn on the median, median of I-25 near Harmony Road that caused three cars to crash and left a pickup truck on its roof. No one was seriously injured, but if you have any information on this crash, please contact the CSP at 970-224-3027. Accidents like the one just mentioned are a reminder of the importance to be safe on the roads. The Colorado State Patrol was out in for for full force this past weekend, reminding drivers of just that. Reporter Neil Denman rode along with the CSP during the enforcement this weekend. Last weekend marked the Colorado State Patrol's third heavy enforcement weekend of this year, where extra troopers worked to enforce traffic laws with the hope of preventing any traffic fatalities across the state of Colorado. This year, our crashes have increased due to distracted driving, so you know our goal always is zero fatalities, but obviously that is very difficult to do. So we pick a couple weekends. Um, this is our third weekend this year that everyone in the State Patrol um, whether you're on duty or off duty, you have to work, and we try to reduce that to have that goal that we always try to get to with zero fatalities for the whole weekend um, across the state. In 2015, traffic accidents in Larimer County and Fort Collins caused by distracted driving have been increasing steadily, with Larimer County having one of the highest rates of texting while driving in the state. Forty traffic fatalities throughout the state of Colorado from October 2014 to September 2015 were caused by distracted driving. The distraction could be from a pasture, it could be from the radio, it could be from a cell phone, MP3 players, whatever it may be. So we have just extra patrolling out there, um, trying to reduce the number of injury and fatal crashes, uh, impaired driving, distracted driving, and into that measure. Neil Denman, CTV News. The CSP was close to its goal of zero fatalities over the weekend. One person died in a crash on Highway 66, 247 people were arrested, and 4,448 citations were issued to drivers on the road. Thousands of Americans suffer from sudden cardiac arrest every year, and many of those attacks result in death. An app is trying to change this quickly, but getting quick treatment to those who need it. It's a technology that can change a person's life. Pulse Point, a free app utilized by the Pooter Fire Authority that can help prevent death from sudden cardiac arrests. People die of SCA um, a thousand a day. It's very common. It's the leading cause of death for people over 40. The app uses your location to show all CPR trained individuals in your area. And if you go into an arrest, it will notify those who can quickly assist. Unless someone has started um, CPR within the first five to 10 minutes, uh, that person's not gonna make it. The app also tells how to do CPR and shows where the nearest automatic external defibrillators are 
another vital device in saving someone's life. CPR and AEDs do different things. CPR circulates blood to vital organs, um, oxygenated blood, and then AED helps to restore um, a fibrillation or um, an uncoordinated rhythm in the heart. There are over 1,800 people in the city with Pulse Point, and the number is growing. Kimmy, we hope that everyone get the app so they can possibly help save a life. It's a very simple solution to a very tough problem, and if we can save some lives, I, I just think it would be fantastic. Well, the app is free for everyone to download, and if you're interested in learning how to do CPR or use an AED, Risk Management at CSU offers courses in both. Colorado State University health and exercise science majors are given the opportunity to get hands-on experience. In the Glen Morris Fieldhouse, students give adult fitness classes. This gives students clinical experiences while also allowing Fort Collins community members to stay healthy. Health and exercise students at CSU get the opportunity to have hands-on experience by teaching adult fitness classes. Adult fitness, it's a practicum for the HES students and we come in and we basically learn how to use our classes that we've learned from previously and then we go in and we can be like a personal trainer for clients. Most of the people that are clients here are 65 years of age or older um, and so we do personal training with them. We have to teach two classes that everybody can participate in and we also have to teach two warm-ups that everybody can participate in. The students bond with community members while giving them inexpensive health tips and exercises. It's, it's really fun to hear all the experiences that they've had in their lifetime as well as get to know them and in their day-to-day -day lives as well and it, this provides an awesome opportunity to, to get to know. Along with working with Fort Collins community members comes good stories. And the other day a group of us were working with him and he tells us this joke about putting this puzzle piece together and someone had to come in and like help him put this puzzle together and it ended up being just a box of cornflakes and it was just the most funny joke ever we all just busted out laughing and so it really shows you that people are here to yes work out but at the same time really connect with the students the program ultimately helps students reach their health and exercise science careers Working one-on-one -on -one with uh, people is something I really like to do and um, I like to make connections with people and I'm very personable. So I think working one-on-one -on -one with people is something I absolutely want to do. These classes are run solely by CSU students and community members receive professional health help and information. The City of Fort Collins is considering new restrictions that would limit the time an outdoor vendor can operate at a single location. In recent years, food trucks have set up semi-permanent or permanent spots on private property. City Council believes they should be more public. Public input is being taken into consideration and a survey is available on the City of Fort Collins website. Well, coming up after the break, CTV weather anchor Sierra Symes with the latest on this rainy weather. Don't go away. CTV will be right back. <laughs> 